Hi, Charlia. Hi. It's downtime with Charlia for Downtown Magazine. Hello. So Welcome today to my is home. Valentine's Day. Have you had more Valentines as a single woman or in a relationship? I'd say more as a single woman. More as a single woman. Flowers or foreplay? Oh, flowers. Flowers, 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 flowers. Always flowers. More flowers, more flowers. More flowers. The more flowers, the better. Foreplay. I can always foreplay myself for flowers. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about yourself? The fact that I love my own company and enjoy my own time by myself. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? It's a bit dry. Um, I feed my orchids ice. First thing, I feed my orchids ice. I have a bag of ice in the freezer at any given point in time. So I feed my orchids with ice. I know that doesn't make sense, but they love it. Are you a religious or spiritual person? Spiritual, definitely spiritual. Have you ever questioned your faith or felt abandoned by God? Oh, I have. I have. I remember, I remember fighting with the concept of God when I just lost my dad and questioning the existence of God, capital letter G, and asking questions, of course, which I knew were going to go unanswered. But yes, I have. That was the one time. Where do you feel the most at home? In my home, <laughs> in my sanctuary, right here where you're capturing me with my plants, among my plants. What did you want to be when you were a little girl? Many things. Are you a lover or a fighter? Both. What's the one thing people don't know about your career? That I have so many various, varied careers. Three young bloods right now on the scene. This town game you absolutely adore. Huh. Zanola Gray. I absolutely love him. In fact, once I said, if I had a son, I want him to be like Denola. Um, my dear brother, Ebuka. I'm talking mostly guys. But yeah, Ebuka. And if we have to go for the women, I would say, let's throw in... Hmm. Aroma. Cookie gum. I like her. I like her style. What's like the one fashion me? rule that you live by? There are no rules. What is your most prized fashion item? It'll be an Hermes clutch, ostrich skin or ostrich leather clutch. I inherited from my mom. I've only inherited from my mom. What's your most expensive fashion item? I just, the Hermes clutch I inherited from my mom is ostrich leather. And um, it's about 35 years old and it's still worth every buck. So my checks. As a single woman, how do you block out the noise? The unwarranted noise and remarks that arise from the fact that you're grown and unmarried. I don't hear any noises. What's the best thing about being unmarried? The fact that I can do my own thing and not answer to anyone. Are you dating? That's not your business, is it? In the thing that's not my business, are you in love? Absolutely. Oh, if, absolutely. If you were getting married, who would you want to design your wedding dress? Design. Me. Create your wedding dress then. Me. You want to be a mother? I'd love to be a mother. You're notoriously private, elusive, and mysterious. How do you maintain this trifecta and still make it to the social realms? Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's relative because I don't think I make the social realms anymore like I did, say, a decade ago or more. I'm more about just. Um, maintaining my inner peace and my peace and being uh, comfortable in my own space. Messy public breakup or unhappy marriage? Messy public breakup. Reality TV or porn? Reality TV. I don't even know porn Although porn can be helpful, but reality TV. 
Are you a foodie? Hello. What's your favorite snack to binge on? Plantain chips. <laughs> You're 48 and fabulous. What you is your skincare routine? How old I am, Missy. Um, drink lots of water. Get a great dermatologist. Eat lots of veggies. Exercise. Exercise brings out the ultimate glow in anyone. I promise you that. Where would you like to grow old? Geographically? Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant booty or face or something. <laughs> um, I'd say if I can afford it in the mountains somewhere in Europe, preferably Tuscany, Italy. But then that's just a dream. Otherwise, I'll find myself in Joss. Do you have any silly fears? Failure. That's not silly, but that's a fear. If Art you're okay, or music? Both. Texts or calls? Text, please. Waxing or laser? Both, depending on location. Hats or sunglasses? Both. You know that. Do you have any hidden talents? Oh, yes. Care to share? I draw, I paint. What would most people be surprised to learn about you? That I'm actually a softie. If you were a musician, if you could be a musician, who would you be? Who would I be as far as a musician? Mm -hmm. um, Lauren Hill. That's not because they say we look alike, but yeah, I like Lauren Hill. What's the one ingredient you can't do without in the kitchen? In the kitchen? Mm -hmm. How did I break my burger into pieces? Um, crayfish. I'll tell you why. Why? Because I put crayfish in my pasta, seafood pasta. I put crayfish in all of my local delicacies I make because I don't do seasoning cubes. Mm. Um, what's your favorite movie ever and why? Sound of Music, God Rest His Soul. We just lost Christopher Plummer in it. Are you ready? Let's take this off. Okay. Can't wait to get my teeth in that. How do you like your burgers? Well done and tasty. But I'm the one doing the questions, Queen Tao. Cheers to that. What's your favorite thing to do in Lagos? Staying home, lounging, taking care of my plants, cooking. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I call my kitchen my lab. Head love our plant mom. Plant mom. Who is your celebrity crush? Keanu Reeves. Always has been, always will be. What's the easiest thing for you to cook? Burgers, burgers, burgers. As you saw, I just put that, just threw Take that down. I threw that down in less than 10 minutes. Take a bite. Take a bite. You know what's funny? I stopped eating red meat, but recently I've been craving red meat. So, I'm gonna do this. Mm. Yummy. I can't wait. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Two years away from 50, you've yes, earned all the bragging rights. So what advice do you have for single, young, black females? Do you cancel out the noise? Don't let societal pressures or pressure um, get in the way of your happiness. Walk me through your favorite art pieces. I'm going to start with the ones that I did. So let's start from this one. Oh, my sanctuary. It's a leaf. My signature on this. It's actually printed on canvas and signed in acrylic. That's my name, Chalia. Thank you so much, Chalia. Having us in your fantastic home.